So what we're going to do is I'm going to run a game on the Xbox One uh, through the television. I have my Xbox One connected to the TV, all hooked up by HDMI. And what I'm going to do, let me just uh, sync my um, controller with my Xbox One. So remember what we do first on the Xbox. Actually, I think let me just turn this on first because I, I already synced it, so it may it should sync automatically. Yeah, there you go, we're good. So we're synced up here between the controller and the Xbox One. And um, we have our Call of Duty Ghost game here, I'm going to play in a second. Um, so what I'm going to do before I play that, the purpose of this video is to show you how to stream uh, from your Xbox One onto a PC with Windows 10 Pro. So my demo PC will be my Surface Pro 4 um, tablet and let me just disconnect the power from the tablet. So as you can see the tablet's not connected to anything, right? So it's just there. So the way to um, stream from your Xbox One to your PC and by streaming I'm talking about full video and sound. Um, so any games you play, any videos, everything that you would normally see on your TV, you'll stream on your, you can stream on your PC. So what you have to do on your PC, just move it closer here so you can see. For a second, um, you have to download I, the Xbox app from the um, the Microsoft Store, and then once you've downloaded the Xbox app, let me just run that app. Now make sure you have your, your Wi-Fi connection set up so you can connect to the internet because you're going to have to log into your Xbox account. It's taking a little while here. Just be patient. Now, we're logged into the Xbox, my Xbox account here. Um, so what I'm going to do now is, let me see how you connect here, the way to connect. So I have here game streaming, Xbox One connection. So that button comes up and it actually says, press here to pretty much connect to console to begin. So let me just press on that. There you go. And it's now connecting to Xbox One. Now, um, my Xbox, so, yet, so the Xbox Dash System OS it came up and it has given me the option to connect. So I only have one Xbox. So that Xbox that's listed here is this that ha that it has detected. So I'm just going to say connect, and it's going to say connecting. Okay, let me say stream to continue signing on your console using this account. So what I have to do is sign in. So what happens is that I've signed in to my Xbox One account on my PC. But what I have to do is sign in uh, on the console itself. All right, so let's do that. Sign in sign in there so I successfully logged in to the to my account on my console so I've logged in on the console I've logged in on my uh, surface pro 4 so let me now click OK here to continue I'm actually gonna click now stream and you should connect momentarily and it says connecting to says now that we started streaming so now it's telling me on here that on my Xbox on my um service pro 4 that there are no controllers attached to this PC attach one to either this PC or your Xbox one and press continue so what I want to do is um, I don't have a wireless dongle you can actually get a wireless dongle and connect it to your PC so you can connect wirelessly um, via um, this controller. I will be doing a video shortly because I do have a controller, uh, a dongle that I recently purchased. But the, for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to connect using a wire. So I have a mini um, HDMI cable I'm actually going to connect. So give me one second. Okay, so I have my little cable here. So I'm going to connect my mini USB in the top of the controller here. And let's attach it to the USB port in my Xbox, in my own. Um, Search for four, and let me click continue. And as you can see here, we are streaming. 
we are streaming. Now, as you can see, when I um, I'm actually uh, navigating on my Surface Pro 4, there is like like a very very small lag between the two, right? Very small lag, like a fraction of a second. Now, um, I'm using, of course, um, the Wi-Fi um, in the house to connect uh, both of these devices together, right? Um, so I'm actually streaming some Netflix upstairs, so there's a little bit of... So, I mean, the more my, my wireless network is being used, there may be a little lag. So they, they recommend that you use a wired connection if you want to get, you know, a seamless connection with no lag at all. But kind of it kind of defeats the purpose, right? You want to have that flexibility where you can stream. Let me just move the keyboard for a sec. And let's put this over here. So you can actually just stream, right? And as you can see, this proof I'm not connected to anything, just the controller. And I am I'm streaming. Right? So let's do some let's test some stuff here. Let's, okay. So Let's go run a game here. Uh, where's my game? Call of Duty. Just want to show you how it streams to my Switch Pro 4 wirelessly here. So again, my controller connected by a cable to my Surface Pro 4, and the Xbox One is actually streaming to my Surface Pro 4 wirelessly. Now, the sound is coming through both the TV and my PC as well. So let me just turn off the, the volume off my TV, play everything through the Surface Pro 4. So the sound and video is streaming um, through, through this. And again, there's no wires between this or the Xbox One, just for proof that it's working well. It was a different time, a different enemy. 60 men from tier 1 teams were sent to face down a force of 500 enemy fighters. Their objective, to force the enemy back from a civilian hospital and keep its occupants alive. So we just there you heard a little bit of crackling in the sound. So it's only doing that because my, my Wi-Fi is being used a lot right now. My, my wife is streaming some Netflix upstairs and there's a lot of stuff going on, so it's pretty busy. Okay, let's play. So, as you can see, the sound that's coming through, it's a bit choppy, um, so it's not, not any fault of the Microsoft equipment or the PC, it's just that my Wi-Fi is uh, being heavily used right now uh, within the house, but I just want to show you that the streaming does work.
guess they got killed. Try this one more time. Well, I got killed again. Let's try it one more time, guys. So let me then play the sound from the TV instead. I want to see if it's going to be choppy as well. So just for the record, the reason the sound is choppy on when I'm streaming through my uh, Surface Pro 4 is because my Wi-Fi is pretty pretty busy right now. There's some streaming going on in the house with some Netflix. Um, other guys are surfing the web. It's it's pretty busy. So let's see. get to the space station. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you stream from your Xbox One to your PC. The PC I used for this demo was my Surface Pro 4. Now the sound was choppy and the, the graphics were a bit bit jittery. Um, no fault of the while the streaming technology, this works fine. Uh, the only problem is, is that I'm actually sharing a Wi-Fi connection in my house with uh, some other stuff that's going on. Um, but you know, it works very well, and as you can see, it was very easy to set up and. You know, normally, 
uh, I can use. I, I will want to if I want to connect wirelessly my my Xbox One controller to my PC. You can actually buy uh, the wireless dongle. Um, I will have a lot a link at the bottom of this video where you can buy the wireless dongle for this. The dongle is pretty much just a USB key that you plug into the USB port in your PC, and then you can then um, connect to, uh, wirelessly to your controller. But for this, I just use the wire. I just use the mini USB uh, cable. So that's that, guys. So I hope you uh, had some fun with this one. I'm I'm actually gonna continue playing this uh, Call of Duty game because, as you can see, I'm now starting out, and it's a uh, uh, it looks like a really cool game. So I'm gonna have some fun with this. All right. So you guys have a great night and uh, take care. Bye.